I'm going to share five words given to five people. Those who have ears to listen and eyes to see. December 3rd, Melinda Goss. All glory to the King. Those who have ears to listen and eyes to see, this word is for you. Those who I have called forth in this hour, stand up, step forth, take your place. Keep your eyes on me, always on me. I will fill you. I will give you everything you need. Do not be distracted by the world around you. Continue to warn my watchmen. Continue to edify my bride. I will cover you and protect you every step of the way. Do not be afraid or dismayed, for I am with you always, even unto the very end. Proclaim Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and have dinner with him and he with me. Your Redeemer, your friend and Savior, Yeshua. Barbara Francis, remain on the narrow path no matter what you see or hear, December 3rd. Daughter, I want you to speak and encourage my children to remain on the narrow path no matter what they see or hear. I know how weary you are from this long and difficult journey. Continue to move forward. Don't stop. The adversary knows you, knows where you live, knows your family. He is working relentlessly, trying to make you quit and give up. I am always with you. I will never leave you. Continue on your path. It will make all make sense when we are together. Rebuke the enemy and he will flee. My power and might cannot be measured by man. I have overcome the world. This world is not your home. You belong to me. Don't ever forget this. You will be with me soon. I love you. Alan Carrico, December 3rd. Some, something big is coming. Something bigger. Hello, my son. This is Jehovah Elohim speaking with you this day. Oh, my son and all my precious children, now is the time. Now is the time that I raise you up for the fulfillment of your destiny. Many of you have known for your entire lifetimes that you were created for something bigger, and now is that time. Be excited, my children, for I am, ca I am is calling you into the greatest service of your lives, the reason I created you. Prepare yourselves by drawing close to me at all times, and I will do things through you that you would not believe even if you were told. The world is about to be introduced to I am, and they will have many questions, questions that I will answer through you as you wield the sword of my word. You have proven faithful in reading and studying my word, and now I will use what you have learned to lead the lost to me, for the great harvest has come. Do not fear what you will see with your eyes or hear with your ears, for they are temporal, but listen with your spirit within, for there is for there is where I am lives. My great Ruach will now flow through each of you in ways you have never witnessed before. Do not fear what others think, for their path is different from your own, and they will not understand. I will move in ways you won't understand, but it is up to you to prove again your faithfulness to my leading. Around you the darkness will be felt at first, but then I will push back the darkness, and many will see and either be drawn to you or repelled from you. This is not about you, but me in you that will cause the hearts of man to stir. Be encouraged when you see this, for this is evidence that I am is working with through you. The time is short now, my children, so lay aside your selfish desires and press into me, where there is none other I am has spoken. This is from Byron Searle from December 4th. 2020 year of recovery. 2 Timothy 2, 25, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God pre-adventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. My son, as 2019 is the year of decision, 2020 will be the year of recovery. Many will lose everything while others will recover what has been stolen from them. Those who lose everything by earthquakes, civil wars, volcanoes, economic collapse will have heard the words and warnings, but chose to ignore them and rely on themselves instead of leaning on me. Those who have heard the words of warnings and prepared their hearts for the time of troubles will recover all the devil has stolen from them, not the worldly things such as houses and cars and money, but things eternal such as joy, peace, love, and unending fellowship with me. My son, 2020 will prove to be the year of great calamity and war. The king will try to do what the people want, but other forces control his actions and thoughts. My people who have been asleep will wake up when it is too late. It has been like this throughout history, as men always, I'm sorry, through history, 
as history always repeats. Satan has no new ideas, just the same old ones repackaged for the time and season. This will be a year unlike all others. All things natural and supernatural will be ampli amplified tenfold. Stronger storms, stronger riots, stronger earthquakes, stronger demonic attacks. Everything will seem like a pot of boiling water. Turbulent will be the wor word used to describe the time. My son, 2020, will be the year the eyes of my people will begin to open. They will realize the false prophets have lied to them concerning the times of the season. My children will recover the power of prayer and repentance. And all those who repent and turn from their evil ways will recover the joy of salvation and peace that comes from walking and knowing me intimately. My beautiful bride who has turned away from the world and seek me with all their heart, hearts, I will shower them with all I have and they will recover what was stolen by the devil. My son 2020 will start with a bang and end with a boom. Continue to warn my remnant of what lies ahead. Do not lie down, as now is the time to sharpen your skills. Pray more for wisdom and guidance. Continue to cleanse the sin out of your lives and separate from this world. Hear my voice as, as I speak to your spirit, leading and guiding you in all things. Stay in my word, as it is the only truth. Compare all things to my word, for it is the standard that all must conform to. My son, tell them my remnant, I know the tests and trials are hard. If they were not, you would not be able to serve those I am sending to you. I love you all very much, but 2020 will shake, rattle, and roll, and I, and I will help you with the recovery. Amen, Lord Jesus. And Glinda Lomax in motion December 5th. I was praying to the Lord for a word for us when in, in the spirit I saw the huge hand of God grab the globe of the world and shake it. Then he shook it again in much the same way you or I might shake a snow globe. Then he shook it harder, and I was reminded of the verses that say, God will arise and shake terribly the earth. My children, prepare yourselves. The leader of America is being removed and replaced. The one who replaces him wishes harm on my people. This, is, this has been the enemy's plan for some time now and is now being set in motion. You are no longer safe when this happens. This leader will attempt to take everything from my people, including your lives. Great lack is coming for the world, but more intensely for those who bear my name. A plan is being set in motion to remove all that bears my name for the earth, from the earth. All I have told you over the years and in his word, not just this prophecy, is being set in motion and will begin quickly. You will not have time to adjust. You will not be allowed time to hide. Be prepared for what you will face now. It begins with the removal of the leader of America. 